all time. Southampton won. Arsenal nil. Arsenal out of the FA Cup in the fourth round. And I'm going to keep this short and sweet, guys. It wasn't good enough. It was absolutely shocking today. Well, first half in particular. Not so much second half. First half. Um, and Southampton played a full strength side today with all the trimmings. Arsenal made seven changes. And maybe that's why we went wrong today. But I personally think the players that were out there today should have been good enough to beat Southampton. And it just turns out they weren't. And once again, Pepe, I don't think he was too terrible. But compared to the likes of how Saka and Smith have been playing, he is terrible. And I think we need to cut our losses. And we're not going to do it in January, but we should cut our losses in January. In, not sorry, in January, in the summer. And he should be gone. William, fucking useless, played 90 minutes as well. Did nothing in the whole game. Was an absolute liability. Was terrible. And Ketia, I don't like going in on you, but you're not good enough either. You're just not. And the fact we're getting rid of Balogun for you, it's a crying shame for me. Because you are not as good as Balogun right now. Balogun scores a hat-trick in the under 23s last night. And he can't even get on the bench today. What's Reese Nelson got to do to get on the bench? At least give him a fucking chance ahead of Pepe and William. I know we're sending him out on loan. But, come on. Like, let's go through the game. The goal was a deflected cross by Walker Peters. And it's come off Gabriel and... I think Lennon had it covered, really, all bases. And it was Gabriel's unfortunate touch, who, of course, just returned from COVID. Um, and it's gone past the goalkeeper. It was very unfortunate, very unlucky. But it is what it is. Second half, we bring on Partey and Saka. When Partey came on, there was a chance, there was a chance for us. There really was. Much better play by us overall. Was controlling the midfield, was... Was getting more, much more, and more chances, but there were so many chances for Enketia today. Well, I thought if Lacazette came on the pitch early enough, he probably would have had those chances and buried them. But that's football, really. Um, of course, we had Leno in goal, back four Cedric at left back with uh, Gabriel and Holding, or it could be our two best centre halves this season. With Bellerin at right back, Shaka and El Nene in the midfield, and it was Martinelli, William, and Pepe in just behind Enketia. And the likes of Eddie and Pepe and William, if they want to get into the starting team and play on Tuesday against Southampton again in the Premier League, they're not showing me enough. You know, Smith Rowe, Zaka gets back in the team. Of course they do. They're the two wonder kids this season. Aubameyang gets back in the team easily. Martin only played an hour. was all right. For me, he should have stayed on the pitch. But he's just coming back from an injury. So that's kind of understandable if he's not fully fit and he can't play a full 90. But... It's just, it's deflating. It's, it's really, really deflating, losing that game. The momentum that we had going into it, we played, we made seven changes. Southampton, of course, rested players in the Shrewsbury game um, that they played in the Cup in the week, get this opportunity to play us. And uh, they've, that's allowed them to go full strength tonight. Well, not tonight, this afternoon. We always play at night, that's why I'm getting confused. Um, and it's cost us. It's cost us. We've made seven changes. And they've made, gone full strength. They've gone for it. Fair play to them. And they've won the game. And they, they did deserve to win that game. Maced on the first half in particular. We were we were lackluster. We were poor. And Southampton, they were high energy and high press. And they deserved to win the game. There isn't really much else to say apart from that. It's going to really wrap it up here. So, uh, we'll be back on Tuesday. Thank you for you, for the guys who uh, tuned into the stream. I know it was an early one. But thanks for that. I do appreciate it. Not letting these guys ruin my weekend. It is an three points drop, but we are out of our conversation in the FA Cup. So we won't be winning the FA Cup once again this season. But it is what it is. Like this video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. A lot of players need to leave this club in the summer. And hopefully there'll be a massive clear out and, you know, these players will go. But until then, they're still going to be on an Arsenal player and I've still got to support them, I guess. So, yeah. Like this video if you enjoyed. Subscribe. subscribe. If you're new, I'll be back for, well, stay tuned for my stream on Tuesday. Once again, it's Southampton away. And hopefully it'll be a better result. But for now, out of the FA Cup, I'll see you guys hopefully for a more better result next time.